I swear you guys, this memory leak automatic brand cleaner thing just keeps becoming a bigger rabbit hole. When I was streaming about three to four days ago, somebody named Interactive Industries came into my chat and uh, he said, Clem, you should try disabling rebar. It seems to have gotten me some more frames and it's it's been like a huge boost. And I'm like, that's odd. That shouldn't, that's, th no, that's not, that's not good. So I did that. I couldn't believe it. I, I don't understand what's going on with the memory structure in game, but um, I'm going to stop bullshitting and uh, I'm going to show you guys just the data that I collected from my tests. So without further ado, uh, let me let me pull that up. And in the process, I'll hop into another offline streets raid like I did in the last video. If you didn't see that first one, by the way, it is uh, it should be in an info card or it just is in my channel. Uh, it's about memory leaks. It's got the huge red memory leak thumbnail. Boom, right there. But with that out of the way, I'll see you guys in a second. And now we are back yet again in our offline streets raid. Uh, this is just customary at this point to be here. First thing you may notice is that my RAM usage uh, is a little bit lower than the last video. Now, this could be anecdotal, but I have the data to back it up. Now, this right here is the same graph that you guys saw in the last video about the memory issues, except this time I've added a couple new bars to the equation. If you're unfamiliar with what I did in my previous video, the long story short is that I went to Streets Interchange and Factory beforehand recording the amount of RAM that I was using uh, in the main menu. And then when I first loaded into the raid, 10 minutes in and then 20 minutes in, and I did that for each map along with recording the RAM usage after the raid as well. And after I scrolled through all of the traders. So that's what you see down here is you'll see, you know, inventory and all traders. If you see that or streets traders, that's me loading in all the traders after I get out of the raid. With that out of the way, what I did differently this time is I disabled rebar in my BIOS. If you guys don't know what rebar is, the TLDR is that it's a method of accessing your VRAM that doesn't require it to access it bit by bit or chunk by chunk because that's what it normally does without resizable bar. Whereas with it, it is able to access the whole memory buffer so it can pick and choose what it needs to replace way easier without having to segment it all. I know that was in kind of dumb terms, but that's the, that's the gist of it. The more important thing is that the behavior when I disabled recessable bar in Tarkov as far as memory usage goes just went out the damn window and I'm not quite sure what was going on with that. If you see run number four that's with an offline test where I had automatic RAM cleaner or ARC I can't speak and you can see that dark blue line tends to follow our first run that I did in that previous video where I just had automatic RAM cleaner on and was testing the RAM usage. If you see this dip right here, this is from the bug with automatic RAM cleaner. Well, we're not sure if it's a bug, but this is from that first issue we were having where it would clear it when we go into the menu and only then. So that's where this dip comes from. Otherwise, all this behavior looks pretty standard. The keen eye among you, though, might see that run number five, which is that yellowish tan bar where I tested rebar and ARC on in raid online is uh, it's a little bit different than what you might see otherwise. Firstly, with streets, you can see that I massively reduced my RAM consumption going under the 16 gigabyte limit when I first got into RAID. As you can see, that quickly shot up to 18 and then 20 gigabytes when I wasn't actively trying to clear anything. But that shows you just how drastic that RAM usage decrease is with rebar on versus off. Now, the effects of it aren't as noticeable within the other two RAIDs, but something I did want to point out is the drastic drop in memory usage when I go to the main menu for not only this run when I get out of streets, but also when I get out of interchange and the weird behavior that I was seeing when I was getting into raids. For example, this factory raid here, I made sure to put this on the graph so I could mention it to you guys. When I first got in, the RAM usage was around eight gigabytes. But by the time I got to 10 minutes within the online raid, it shot up in between here and here to nearly 11 gigabytes. I was sitting there watching it as it went from say nine gigabytes slowly creeping up straight to 11. And I was really confused with where that came from. The same process happened on interchange, but with that I decided to restart it and get some new data. So that's why you don't see it there. That's before I realized that this was a trend and that it was kind of odd. Regardless, it stayed consistently under the bar 
for online without rebar. Now, in my previous video that I made on it about a year ago, I did note that it does slightly increase your VRAM, and this is kind of a consensus thing. And what I mean by that is that it slightly increased my own VRAM usage on average. I don't know if this is a common thing, but I did notice that when I was testing. The main issue that I'm having is with this weird memory behavior. I don't know why this is happening, and I don't know where these flat drops are coming from, both while you're in the main menu and when you first get into raids. I'm, it only happens sometimes when you first get into raid, but the behavior is abnormal and isn't consistent, which makes me think that there's something else going wrong here under the hood. I did want to note another issue that I had with having resizable bar off though, even though I will continue to have it off, is that you can sometimes experience little systematic hitches in your performance. I couldn't exactly attribute these to having resizable bar off, but there's something that I didn't notice in the frame times before having it off, and I'm assuming that's from it accessing specific parts of the memory. I do agree with Interactive, however, in saying that it did increase my FPS at the start of a raid. Over time, it did degrade back to levels that I found beforehand, but it was either staying slightly above or at least at the same levels almost all the time with less VRAM consumption to boot. The reason why I'm making this video and bringing this up at all is the fact that most new systems, especially if you're buying pre-built or you have a newer platform, leave resizable bar on by default. And this is generally a good thing, as it can and does often improve performance in games that support it. The thing is though, with Tarkov being Tarkov, it doesn't. And it has these weird behaviors with it on that just stack up the RAM and VRAM like nobody's watching. If you're wondering how to disable this, it is a setting within your BIOS that you need to go and disable. You can look up your motherboards instructions, or you can just Google your motherboard and how to disable resizable bar to test it. It's really simple and easy thing to change. And for those of you who have been in my discord talking about having crazy amounts of VRAM and RAM usage within raid, I think this might be the key that you guys are looking for to help stop that. And I please do either leave a comment in the description in the in the comments or uh, join my discord hit me up, you can just at me. I really wanna hear from you guys and get your opinion on if this does help you or not. I'm going to recommend for now that you try this and disable it as it seems to help with performance. But as far as I can tell, this is in fact a bug. This is not the intended behavior, at least I'm almost certain it's not. The last thing I wanna mention is that in the video that I made a year ago about resizable bar, I did go into a program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector and forced it on in Tarkov. That might make a difference here, but I haven't had the chance yet to collect that data as I just simply ran out of time. I didn't want to delay putting out this video any longer because I wanted to get the word out as quickly as possible to at least try this off and see what happens. When possible, I might come back and make follow-up videos testing the performance and testing with NVIDIA Profile Inspector again. but. For now, I noticed this issue and I wanted to bring it to light as quickly as I could. And with that, as always, thanks for watching. I'll be getting out some more testing in the next little while. I'm going back to classes, so schedule might change, but expect me to be here at least once a week to help answer your questions, put out videos, content, that whole sort of thing. I'll be continuing testing. It takes forever, but God damn it, I'm gonna keep it rolling. So uh, with that, I'm going to cut myself off from rambling, get this video up for you guys, and I will see you guys in stream later tonight. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for 2,000 subscribers. Uh, I think it's 2,200 now, um, which is actually kind of insane. But uh, I, I really, truly appreciate all of you guys watching and contributing to help finding or to help find these issues. As it's it's been really really cool so far. But yeah, with that out of the way, for now, this is Clem, locking out. Later.